back into this now. Just about to look into doing this corner piece. And then I'll start looking at doing the back of the cab, get them bits out of the way. And then, yeah, I'll start looking at the trans tunnel and doing something with this floor. But depends on what, how much time I've got. Cause uh, yeah, work in the morning, so can't be out here till 4 a.m. again. Well, I can, but I don't want to be. This is a good reason why you can never really quote on doing people's cars and shit. And it's why if I ever end up doing cars for people, I definitely won't be quoting on anything because shit like this. So I was meant to fix that square there and the rest of it sort of looked all right. A little bit sort of freckly. But the problem is with these trucks is when they start to go get these rust freckles around sort of the inside and everything, it actually gets worse. Mine was the same. Probably not quite as bad as this, but so as you can see, Swiss cheese. So you could quote for that job there and then you get into it and you've already quoted it and then bang, you find all this shit. Also when other people have touched vehicles, you find bog and just chip repairs and stuff. So everyone thinks, oh yeah, it should only be this much money. And you know, it's, it's an easy job. Well, it's not really easy. And pretty much never expect to find anything decent unless you get some immaculate bloody barn find or something out of a garage that's been sitting there for 20, 30 years. But when it comes to the stuff that's been used, sat outside and whatnot, and actually does get used, yeah, you'll find all this shit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld that patch in first, and then what I'll do is start templating this out. The other side, it's sort of tried to do the same, but there's only a couple of holes there, so all I'm gonna do is, yeah, weld them up. Yeah, probably a bit sketchy, but it's better than putting fiber filler over it, so. Anyway, so that's a bit more work. So I probably won't be getting next to nothing done tonight except for, yeah, all that. But there's something to watch out for. And with the F100s, yeah, if you get original one and it starts to go that freckly sort of spotty sort of shit, definitely um, get onto it. And if you get a cab in general, pull the headliner out of it, get your cavity wax or your, your um, fisheline or whatever or a good paint or whatever, and just sort of feed it in above the roof there, go along this way, that way, down all the pillars, because you can't actually get to the, down the front here, unless you cut the um, bottom of the pillar away like mine. So definitely, yeah, worth cleaning up. Spray it, that's what'll happen to this once it's painted. I don't really wanna do it before it's painted because if it leaches out and spray it, a wreck paint job it's kind of the reason why i left mine but didn't think it was actually going to stay like that for as long it was meant to be resprayed ages ago surprise never got there Same old luck, got into it, tacked it in at least, ran out of gas. I sort of knew it was coming anyway, luckily, but yeah, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. So I have to go and get a new gas bottle tomorrow, and I'll probably get a new rig as well, just because that's actually the one off the old welder, and the one that come with my welder shut itself after not long, don't know why, and I'm not even gonna bother looking at it. Just go and get another one, that I know that works and yeah, hopefully um, be back in the world in it tomorrow, but I'll sort of keep myself busy anyway. I've got the other pieces ready to weld in, so everything's trimmed up and they fit in nicely. That's what I'm doing now. Let's go through there. Is I'm starting to look at doing this floor section. Go around the trains cover, so pretty much from there way around or about there somewhere just to match the floor so pretty much just there if you can see it and yeah I sort of templated around the side so I've traced that 
Now I'm just cutting it roughly because I have to bead roll this and then run this out and then probably ran the lip over just to match the floor. I've sort of gone excessively long just so I've got enough there and I can sort of place it where I need. And yeah, luckily had a piece of scrap that sort of worked out all right. So I'll do that, chop that out, bead roll this. I may do it after I fold it because it needs to be sort of radiused up like that. So I might do that afterwards just so the bead roll follows it and you're not trying to stretch the bead roll when you go to bend the piece. And then yeah, I'll start looking at the inside, trim it around the suit, and then go and fit on the floor and see yeah how close we are. Jumping ahead quite a bit. No gas to get the back corner done there. I ended up getting into it and building another piece. So you see in the photo that how bad the floor was, where they just hacked it out. I've ended up making this piece. Go in there, it's just roughly sitting in there, it does fit a bit better. And yeah, it's cleaned up the floor a bit, so that cover there should now fit. Hopefully it's all clear when the gearbox and the motor goes back in. It should, but some things don't always work. That's a new bottle of gas. Brand new rig. So let's get into it. Get the ship welded up. slowly getting through it but a lot of it's all sort of cleaned up that patch is in there a bit on the roof a couple of spots over the other side there's also just a lot of holes from where they like to tech screw shit and just drill shit in the stuff where they don't really need to so it's all cleaned up and now I've cut this section out I'm trying to keep it as small as I can just because most of the metal is pretty solid it's just that's where the majority of all the rust spots were. As you can see. And that's just from wire wheeling it, so it was all just broken away. And that'll probably explain it. But yeah, my cab definitely wasn't doing that. But um, yeah, obviously with this having the roof repair, it's caused this pillar to get really bad. And old mate probably should have fixed it when he did the roof, but I'm not going to sort of complain too much because I don't have to do the roof. That bit's cut out, a few pieces made, just a bit of weld through primer on the back there. Just to try and protect it a bit. And then yeah, a bit of edge primer up in here. And hopefully that will sort of slow things down. You'll never stop, well, Saying that, yeah, you'll never stop rust, but the idea is to slow it down for as many years as you can. Continuous battle, but anyway, I'll get this welded in and see where we go from there. been a pretty long run these couple of nights definitely feeling it at work each day but finally getting somewhere so the pillars are all done it's all repaired now shitload of work in it of course it's not 100 percent perfect but it's an absolute shit job and i don't really want to ever have to do it again but anyway so a new piece down here all welded in and radius it's pretty close, so just a quick run of filler. Should have it pretty well sorted. This wind's mental. Anyway, also got under the trans tunnel. 
Got all that welded in. That's come up pretty well. Straightened it all out, fixed all the holes in the side and whatnot. So pretty much. This will go on. Pretty much like that. Of course, it doesn't fit perfect because this has been welded and also serves a different floor. Also, yeah, they're higher in the center, so when you pull them down, it actually pulls on the ends. But yeah, pretty happy with how that's come up. So definitely, uh, definitely a uh, improvement. So yeah, hopefully we don't, won't have any clearance issues with the trans. But we'll get over that hurdle when we do. So that's pretty much them sections done. Now I just got to look at just a few bits in the back wall. They're going to be pretty hard just because of the tray. You also know it's been a fair job when you got a full dust pan full of grinding dust and whatnot. Either that or you're not a very good welder. Yeah, it's probably more like that. Still cracking into it, still getting shit done. So you saw that I got pillars done. That all out of the way, saw the trans tunnel. Got that all cleaned up and new section welded in. So I've probably spent a good five-ish sort of arvos, evenings on it. And pretty much got most of this cab out of the way now. So I've done the floors as well. Weld new sections in there. It's not the right way to do it. Best way would be to cut the whole pan out, weld a new one in. But for this thing, it just wasn't worth it. And they're still pretty solid. Like, yeah, they are pitted. But these floors are a lot thicker than normal. And yeah more than solid not really getting that moving so i had a couple of spare bits just old off cuts and things that i've screwed up or whatever in the past so this one worked out well because it had a bead roll in it that one already had a bit of a curve going and all i had to do was shrink and stretch it to sort of get it to do that kink in the front there so i got that done back of the cab here it's all rusted down here so i fixed all that up Three corner there, put a new piece in, another rust hole there, fix that up. Also a couple of pin holes there, welded them up. And yeah, there was holes in these sort of impressions here. And yeah, they were just had coach bolts in them. Weren't really doing a whole lot. So yeah, sort of decided between me and my brother. Just said it's not worth keeping them. So weld them up, piss them off. And it's pretty much what I did. Passenger side, couple of pin holes, welded them up, no worries. Back of the cab here, big rust hole in the corner. So I've rebuilt this section. Probably get a little bit impatient, but also there's a lot of weld area in such a small sort of zone. And yeah, it sort of pulled, pulled the panel a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll get the dent puller and pull that out when I do. Also there's a rust hole here, so I fixed that up. And there's a shitload of bogs, so that's a previous repair. And yeah, there's a bit of a dent there. So what I'll do is also get that, because that's also a blind panel where you can't get to the back side. Otherwise I'd hit it out. Corner of the cab here had holes in it, so I fixed that as well. That rear section all welded in pretty well. Got that done. Left a bit of an impression here just because that's where the spot weld is. Just trying to make it look like I haven't really been there. Corner here had rust in it, so I fixed that as well. So that's pretty much most of the cab out of the way. All I got to do now is plan them. As you probably see, there's a bit of light going through the top there. So yeah, the bottom's rotted out on this side. It's typical because the three panels that are together, they're glued together and the way they're set up. Water, moisture, just gets in there, they flare up, eat away, and pretty much, yeah, you're stuck with that. My truck did the same, the old man's truck's done the same, he's fixed his as best he could, and yeah, the way I fixed mine is put a new firewall in it, probably a bit more advanced, but um, yeah, mine sort of needed a few other things as well, so it was just worth putting the firewall in. 
but yeah, that's tonight's haul. Half of it's probably up my nostrils, as you can see, but anyway. So yeah, it's been a fair bit of work. A lot of belts going into it, just little finicky corners and shit. A lot of standing pads, heap of roll lock discs, poly fan wheels. So yeah, it's been <laughs> quite a job. Doesn't really look like it, but yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And depending on how you finish the job, depends on how much work you're gonna put into it.